Now, I'm not saying that there are not times that someone obviously needs to be told they are wrong. Because it's true that there are those special circumstances that someone needs to be told that they are wrong. But that's an acquired skill that we all must truly seek God for on how to lovingly correct or rebuke someone with sensitivity to the Holy Ghost with care and concern for the person in whom we are correcting that we do not destroy them for our own self-righteous vainglory. And if you do not have that skill or ability, then it's best that you keep your wisdom to yourself and just pray for that person in private. Now the way I see it is that if I can convince you first that Jesus Christ is real and point you to him first to seek ye first his kingdom and righteousness to seek his spirit for yourselves if I can convince you of your need to repent and be ye born again of the water and spirit to seek to be filled with the Holy Ghost yourself then the Holy Ghost will begin to reveal to you what is true sound doctrine and who is false or genuine it's the Holy Ghost's job and main purpose to teach us, lead us, and guide us into all the fullness of the truth and also to bring back to our remembrances whatsoever God has told or taught us. And the person wouldn't need another man to tell him, but the Spirit itself will bear witness with our spirit and will ultimately reveal these things to a person and will also keep that person in all the ways of the truth way and in the fullness of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior God Almighty personally I like to say let the dead bury the dead and the blind lead the blind and while keeping that in mind let's all remember the words of the Apostle Paul in his letter to the Philippians in chapter 2 verses 1 through 18 King James Version if there be any consolation in Christ if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy that ye may be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind let each esteem other better than themselves, looking not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you which also was in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Wherefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Do all things without murmurings and disputings, that you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom you shine as lights in the world, holding forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. Yea, and if I be offered upon the sacrifice and service of your faith, I joy and rejoice with you all. For the same cause also do you joy and rejoice with me. And also keep this in mind from the book of Acts chapter 5 verses 38 and 39 quoting the wise Pharisee who I believe said it best. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of God, you cannot overthrow it, lest happily you be found even to fight against God. 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 36 says, What? Came the word of God out from you? 
or came it unto you only. This is Evangelist Joseph P. Hackney saying, May God keep you and bless you in all of his word and ways. Amen.